Hi, I'm Micah and these are my trucks and I'm going to show you a little bit about them. This is my first truck. It's a 1993 GMC Yukon with a 5.7 liter V8 engine with throttle body injection. It seems to be really clean for the 200,000 miles that the odometer reads, and it also has the four-speed automatic transmission that we will be swapping for a five-speed manual. So we bought this one because it has a super clean body with absolutely no rust and very few dents in it. The rockers are completely free of rust, although it is badly in need of paint with lots of peeling parts and there's random bubbles that we don't really know what are caused by. Not, they're not rust. We but they're kind of all over and some of these doors seem to have been repainted one, one point in time. The plan is to cut the top off of this and make it a roof on top like the original K5 Blazers and Jimmy's. Um, and to do that, we are going to be cutting along the edge here and fabricating the back of the cab and the bed rails on and then making a hard top out of something that we're not really sure yet. For this plan, we needed the actual tailgate and not the opening doors in order for the top to be able to come off and still be able to use the tailgate. This truck has almost every option and one of those options it has is a Z71 package where it has the off-road chassis and underbody skid plates. This is my parts truck. It's a 1994 Chevrolet K1500. It has the same engine as my other truck. The only difference is it has the five-speed manual, which we will be putting in. To my other truck. Out of this truck we are going to be using the transmission, the slave cylinder, and the clutch pedal. We're not going to try to salvage this truck because this motor is knocking really bad and really shot and it's got a lot of rust hiding down here and it's got a lot of scratches and dings in it and this door doesn't latch all the way. Interestingly, this truck has less miles than my other truck, but it is in way worse condition. We believe this may be due to this at one point having a fifth wheel. As you can see, this is pretty filthy, so the next step is to power wash this before we put it on the lift. Now we're ready to push this onto the lift. Step is to take all the drive shafts off. We're going to take out the cross members so we can get the transfer case out. We also need to get the exhaust out of the way. Coming up. This 
going forward like this. Okay, so what'd you get out? The sleeve cylinder. Good job. I'm disconnecting the transfer case from the transmission. Cool! Is it separated yet? Yeah, yeah it's separated. Cool the the it. No, but it's... Now we need to remove the shifter stub. Now we're going to get the transmission unbolted. Now we can take off the clutch assembly. Okay. Is oh, it's like a like we expected a new clutch. A new clutch and the flywheel's just been, been just been machined. Flywheel. There we go. Spacer plate will yeah, keep that, keep that down there for now. Now it's time to take the parts truck off the lift. Okay, push. There we go. Okay, don't push. In order to get the clutch pedal and the bracket out of this truck, we need to get the dash out. First, I'm going to take this half out. There it is. Let's put it over on It took us about two and a half hours to get the dash out. We didn't do a great job of showing everything, so we'll link a video down in the description of what we watched to figure it out. So we're gonna take out the two switches that go to the clutch pedal. This top one, and when you push it, push it, it disengages the cruise control. And the bottom one, you need to push it to start the truck. So we're gonna take them both out and cut them. Cut the wires. There you go. Now we're taking the top bolts off the clutch bracket. And now we're unbolting the slave cylinder from the clutch bracket.
I'm pulling off the clutch master cylinder. <laughs> And then just tap on those gently. Be pretty good, but there it goes. Okay, there it goes that one. Hit the bottom one now. Okay, I'll take your nuts off again. And you should be able to just pull that pedal. Do that. And then that pushes through. There we go. Pry it loose. So the last thing we need is the clutch pedal bracket right here. So we need to get this clutch pedal bracket out uh, and we, we're going to cut this out of the way so we can get to the spot while it's holding it in. Now we're going to take the slave cylinder out. Can you turn up against the kink there? Yeah. You good? Yep. So we took it all out as one piece, so hopefully we can just stick it all back in as one piece. We also took off the front bumper. <laughs> Gonna use it on a different truck. Low zero and I don't want to start anything, so we're going to do it the wrong way. Now we're all done with the parts truck for the winter.